CFTR protein stands for cystic fibrosis, transmembrane conductance regulator. It's a pore on the cell surfaces of many organs in the body, including the lungs, sinuses, pancreas, and the gut, that's responsible for the movement of salt and water on these cell surfaces. The cell surfaces need the salt and water to keep regular health and is a problem when not functional in cystic fibrosis. When it's not functional, we have a, a loss of normal function and that results in a downstream, several downstream problems, including reduced clearance of mucus and a lot of inflammation which cause damage to organs in the body. The abnormal protein function is due to mutations in the genetic code or the information which encodes proteins known as DNA. When the DNA is faulty, it results in abnormalities of the protein function at various different levels. There's a wide range of work being done in the cystic fibrosis community to address the problem of faulty CFTR protein function. This ranges all the way from clinicians to basic science researchers who are looking at ways to understand the protein uh, malfunction and researching new drug therapies which target various mutations which cause different problems of protein function. As you can see, this is a very central problem and a very central focus for the cystic fibrosis community. And therefore, the entire range of specialists in this field are being employed to help with understanding these problems. I'm very excited about the, the triple combination modulator trials for a greater number of patients with different CFTR protein and gene, de and gene mutations. One important aspect is reaching patients that have one copy of the mutation f 508 del CFTR. These patients heretofore have not had uh, CFTR modulators that would help them to restore health. With the next generation modulator program, which is under development now, we think we'll be able to reach patients with one copy of this f 508 del mutation and effectively help them with health as, along with the patients which are already being helped with two copies of the f 508 del mutation. We're moving towards new next generation and new novel or interesting new compounds for CFTR modulation uh, in, in rare mutations. We're beginning to explore and reinvigorate processes for looking at ways to correct the message which causes abnormal protein function, which will help patients with a wider range of CFTR mutations to achieve health. In addition, we're taking known CFTR modulators like Ivacaftor into younger and younger patients to explore the concept of treating CFTR protein function earlier. In this concept, we hope to restore CFTR protein function before overt uh, lung disease or other problems have happened in these, in these patients. CF is a, a, a condition where you get to love your patients and you also get to love the science. And by loving the science, you love your patients in backwards and forwards.